Hi, my name is Rex Beanland and welcome to this week's painting demonstration. And this week we're going to do a portrait. So I have the portrait, it's a child's portrait that we're going to, going to work on today. And I just like, to, I've kind of sketched out some of the, as well as the features, some of the shadow areas and some of the highlight areas. But I'm going to just point out the uh, shapes that I've identified as are to stay white, that will stay white paper. This chat or the highlight on the cheek, the highlight on this cheek, a bit up here on the nose, and the tip of the nose. And the paints that I'm using are cadmium yellow medium, cadmium scarlet, quinacridone magenta, phthalo turquoise, and a little dioxazine purple. Okay, so I'll start just by soaking this. And again, I just want to leave those areas white. I'm going to go right over the eyes and everything. The water I'm using is a, is a little bit um, a little bit of paint in it which is actually helpful now because you can kind of see where the uh, the water's been applied. So for my lightest area that I'm going to kind of do the whole thing in I just want a nice orange wash. So I'm taking my cad yellow medium and my cad scarlet I just want to start off with that mixture a little bit to the yellow side. These are eventually going to be more or less the highlight areas. I think maybe just a little bit more of the uh, straight yellow in there. And then more to the Increasing the amount of uh, cadmium scarlet in there. Oop. I don't quite want to get that red yet. I'm just I'm just punching this up a little bit because it's going to dry much lighter and it's you know, some of this a little bit extra value would not hurt. Yeah. Though we want to keep it overall fairly subtle. I'll just go over that. Okay, I've let that dry now, and I think what we'll do now, I want to get this, I want to integrate the hair into the, uh, the head, and it's actually a very similar color. It's kind of a, a blonde thing. So what I'm going to do is just, first of all, in the same way, kind of get a a light wash. I want to get 
of this a little bit more to the yellow side. And particularly over in this edge, on this side of the hair, that's going to be the side that's mostly in the light. So this uh, uh, cadmium scarlet is um, it's an opaque watercolor and so if I don't mix it well into the brush you get things happening like that which is not necessarily what we want. Try and get a little bit of the sort of the naturalness of the, you know, the little bit of the wildness of the hair there. And on this side, I'll start here with a little bit of cad yellow, but then I'll bring in some of my an acridome magenta again. just to get a little bit of color contrast in there. It's going to add a little bit of this yellow-orange. Particularly in the, uh, the brighter side here, towards the light. A little bit down there. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take care of this, the t-shirt here. I'm going to just try and bring a little contrast to that into the t-shirt here by having it be a cool color and I want I'm going to leave a little bit of white right in around here may not stay there but it might give me a chance to have a little interplay between the t-shirt and the chin some reflected light stuff going on there Actually, this part of the neck is going to be quite a dark eventually, but the local color of it, it is skin. Just to give me the full range of uh, value, I'm going to go in and do the eyes because they are the uh, darkest feature on the face. 
And for my dark, I'm going to use cadmium scarlet and some thalo turquoise, which, uh, especially that thalo turquoise, it's a very dark value all by itself. And you add the cad scarlet there, and you get a, you get a lovely dark. But I don't think it's dark enough. Kind of have to blend it. The phthalo turquoise is so strong, you have to just keep adding little bits and blending it or mixing it till you have something that you like. I just have a strip of paper here so I can just test. Yeah, that's virtually a black. So I do want that just slightly to the red side. So then I can come in here. Now there's that lovely highlight in there, so I want to be sure I leave that. value. Just extend. Also very dark is the nostrils. I'm going to put in these eyebrows. So I'm going to take that same mixture but a lighter value and much more to the red side. So that they, they're dark but they don't compete with the iris. And also while I'm here, similar color, now I can go in and do the lips. It is important here to control the amount of water on your brush because you don't want it leaving just big puddles that are really uncontrollable. Is an area of uh, light in the middle, so I'm going to leave that for now. I'll leave that white. Uh, some of these other shadows that are around here. So I'm now taking just water and softening the outside edge. The, the inside edge is actually a bit of a, it's kind of in the valley there and it does have a hard edge but not the outside. Same with, there's a bit of a, shadow down there. Now those are not finished, I just wanted to establish them at this point. And again, the curve, the cheek curves, so the outside edge is softened. This side is the face curving away from the light, so there's actual shadows in there. So I'm going to just mix up shadow color. I'm sorry, I've got a little yellow 
uh, definitely to the red side and then a little bit of this blue that's in there just to kind of neutralize it. So I'll start This seems really strong at this point. Now that, this whole shape in here is going to be dark. So I don't need to worry about that for now. Okay, I'm going to show you, actually I'll take this right down. And right at the bottom here, there's a bit of reflected light on the chin. So I'm going to leave that, leave that little strip right there. Okay, that's roughly the, the shape that I want. So now I'm going to soften this. The top, I'm just going to leave it. I want to soften this. And along here. See now all the hard edges there are gone but I have to be until it gets a bit drier I have to be kind of diligent because when I soften it, it the, the paint then flows to the new edge and it will harden up there so I have to kind of keep diligent here. And this shadow here, Add a little bit more of the blue to it as we come up here. And soften the edge. And see down here where I where I wet it. It was soft at first, but then the paint run, runs to that new edge and hardens up again. So I just, I just need to take some time to keep erasing it to prevent any hard edges. And in here, Take this Okay, and now there's a bit um, right along the this edge of the cheek, you know, partially because it's blocked by the hair and that. It's a little bit. I might as well actually bring that down and reinforce this shape. In that shape.
What I'm going to do now is let this section dry.